This is how I know you did it wrong. I did it right. Like so I sit right here in this chair right here, drinking a beer with one hand, and stalling with the other hand. Okay, that's not true. I'm just kidding. I don't drink beer. I drink Jack Daniels. I just showed you what you did wrong, installing the pins. Now what we're going to do is we're going to show you what you did wrong on the other part. Installing all of this goodness onto the clutch cover. Watch this. Let's sneak up on this guy. <laughs> Right back. That's Mr. Lloyd. <laughs> Gonna be. Where's it from? Alba Racing. Alba Racing. All right, guys. Let's do it. All right, I'm back and I'm prepared. I even had this laid out for me. Look at, I'm wrapping my boys in Michigan. What up, guys? Anyways, forgive all of this. It's been a long Friday. But the important thing, what I just got out of El Mailbox, Alba Racing, what is it going to be? It's going to be something for um, a weekend project. We're still staycationing here in Cali. So what did my husband order? We've been working on uh, putting together the Robbie Gordon video today. Super excited still, but also excited for, come on, okay, you know, edit this out, babe, gosh, okay, what is it, you know what this is, this is the pin kit for the clutch cover, so we can just pop, you know, because belts, blowing belts is our game, no, uh, if you have if you drive your car, then you know that this is going to come in handy. So super excited to get this on. Um, watched the uh, video, uh, a couple different videos of this getting installed. It seems pretty easy. We watched uh, our friend Kenny put this on his Can-Am. Kenny, back to the desert. What up? So we're going to do the same on ours. So that's what we got in the mail. Ah. Um. I remembered what I was gonna say. Guys, don't forget. Dun, da, da. We still have our contest going on. So if you wanna get this guy. Hi guys. Sorry, I'm tired. Um, which is another pair of these wonderful Oxbeam LED headlights, the F16 plus H13, um, which we put into Boosty. I'll link the video below that has the official rules, a link to the official rules and all the mumbo jumbo. But this is going to be happening really soon. Um, we're going to be doing our drawing to give the pair of headlights away to one lucky subscriber. So subscribe, comment, like, not, well, we want you to do that anyways. So do that on whatever video you're watching now. Like it, thumbs up, all that jazz. But also make sure that you follow the link to the Oxbeam video so that you can uh, find out how you can go about winning a pair of these for yourself and getting this guy delivered to your house. Look at how cute he is. He wants to be home with you. Ah. Okay, so as you can see, we got some, some of these guys right here. Look at this. We'll show you the... We'll show you all the contents in a minute here. I'm sure most of you have already seen these, but anyway, we're gonna, I'm gonna install these. I'm gonna use a different method, different method of installing this, these, installing these than I've seen. Ready? I'll show you what I'm gonna do. We are back. So tip number one, make sure you use a rusty nail for this. That way in case you poke yourself, you know, you get tetanus or whatever, not really. A few extra minutes right here might save us a bunch of trouble. Not trouble. Make our efforts a little less. How about that? Let 
Look at that. You see where I'm going with this? Okay, let's see what's in the package first and then we'll uh, do the install. I'm sure some of you, many of you have already seen this install, but we have a twist. This, it's not that big a deal, but check it out anyway. Ready? All right, let's see what's in the package. Here's all the parts. Guess what we guess what we don't have. I don't think I have a rivet gun. Weird, I know, but I don't think I do. Let's go take a look. Okay, so that's all the parts we need. All this stuff right here. But I really don't think I have a rivet gun. I don't think I do. I have all this. But I don't have a rivet gun. So guess what? We gotta go to the store before we can make this happen. We'll be right back. Let's go. Okay, so I don't have a rivet gun, whatever it's called. We need to put the rivets in, and I don't have the tool to put them in. So I'm gonna run to tractor supply. Let's go check this out. This should be interesting. Things are different. You know, the virus, the thing, the deal, the thing we're all living with. So let's go see what we can find. We'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Off to tractor supply. You gotta get that right there. That's a different deal. And we gotta get a thing, a tool. A rivet, a rivet gun, whatever it's called. A rivet install device. We'll be right back. Okay, we're at Tractor Supply. I'm still not super comfortable with recording in public in general, but uh, we'll go check it out, especially right now, things are weird. About half of the people here are usually wearing ha uh, face masks, half are not. So let's go see what it looks like. We'll be right back. So this is the line to get in. Excuse me. Oh, no worries. <laughs> I think that's what we need. $27.99, $19.99. Let's see. 3.30 seconds, 1.8. 5.30 seconds, 3.16, uh, same size, right? Uh, oh, this head pivots, kind of cool, but uh, we may never use this thing again, or it could be a while. So let's get this one, $19.99. We don't need the pivots, we don't need all that. So that should be good enough. Is there anything else we need? Maybe these for Danny? Or for us when we're laying the floor? Yes. We're doing it. So many how? So, so many how? So how many times does this happen to you? You get in a store like this. I, I'm gonna buy that. I don't know why. I don't need it. You get in a store like this and uh, you find that one thing you're looking for. Yeah. Then you come across something you weren't looking for that you could use. Definitely we can use that. We're getting ready to do more of the flooring in the garage. So you get those items, right? And you're like, oh, there was one more thing I came for. What was it? Luckily, as I said that, I remembered what it was because I saw it. This, it's this. That's what we need. So we'll be right back. we got to go find some zip ties. And then, look, squirrel. I like this DeWalt knife right here. Pretty cool. Um, I started collecting knives. I wouldn't say collecting. I just started. I just started buying them and losing them. So we'll be back. Okay. So zip ties. That's what we need. A big one like this. So we gotta find the zip ties in general. Okay. So the gentleman helped me find some zip ties. Those should do it. They're a little thinner, but we can use two or whatever. I said that should do the job. That should do the job. We'll be right back. We're done. Let's get out of here. Get back to the garage and get this thing going. Watch this. Let's sneak up on this guy. Go. 
Excuse me, sir. Six feet. <laughs> what are you doing here? What's going on? Nothing. We'll be right back. That's Mr. Lloyd. <laughs> We did it. We got what we needed, all this stuff right here. We didn't get a bag because we did self check out. What a pain. Line to get in, line to get out. Okay, so finally, we're back in the garage. Um, I had to go get a tool. I think I just showed you that. And we scared Steve Loy. That was awesome. Maybe not for him. Anyway, we got this so that we can do these. So, first, what we're going to do is go put these on the car. So let's go do that right now. Um, that's going to be tripod action because I can't hold you guys and do the work. So let's turn on a light. Yeah, look at that. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. So let's get you on a tripod. We'll be right back. Okay, so guess what I've been doing? Locating a tool. I mean, I could open this whole back and find, I have the bit and I have the drill, I have the stuff. But I've been trying to find the right tool, which hasn't been too hard, I'm just complaining. But, to get these off. And guess what we won't have to do anymore? Use the right tool to get these off. That's the whole point of this, right? So here we go. Last time I have to do that, right? I mean, unless we were to get a new car or something like that. But not, not that we would do that. Awesome. So let's do it. Let's put our pins in. We'll be right back with the pins. Okay, so here's what we got going on. Uh, I recorded this once, but uh, it was sideways, so let's try it again. Here's what we got going on, right? We already got the cover off. We have the pins. And then we have this guy. This guy right here. Hopefully you can see that with all that light going on. And the noise in the background, hopefully it's not too bad. But we got this guy going on right here. And we got this going on right here. And this pushes into here. And then we can use the ratchet to spin it instead of using an Allen wrench by hand to spin them in. I know. Lazier, right? Heck yeah. Work smarter not harder anyway let's do this all right here goes the first one let's just get it started a little bit and let's see how well this works maybe it's a dumb idea hell i don't know but i don't think so anything that allows me to use power tools i'm in for I'm calling that a win. It seems, it seems like it slipped a little bit in here, but uh, it's pretty much all the way in. So if we need it in more, we'll figure that out, right? saw the title of this video and you clicked on it and you're watching it <laughs> I was just kidding of course I don't mean you did it wrong I don't mean you're stupid it wasn't implying anything like that at all but it worked because if you're this far you clicked on the video thanks
Okay, as the title and the thumbnail and everything else says that we could get to set, this is how I know you did it wrong, I did it right. Because I sit right here in this chair right here, drinking a beer with one hand, and stalling with the other hand. Okay, that's not true. I'm just kidding. I don't drink beer. I drink Dak Daniels. But I'm just kidding completely. But I did really pretty much install it with one hand because I put this nail head through the hole in each pin, grab this guy right here, just stuck it up there, and spun away with that guy. Anyway, let's go. Let's test fit this uh, cover, and then we'll go get the um, rivets. The, we'll go mount the, um, the little cables that hold the pins in place, the clips, whatever they're called. We'll be back. Okay, now we got it on. There we go. Uh-oh. You see that? You see what I see? Check it out. I guess we need a new outer cover as well. I guess what happened is one of our uh, carnages, or who knows, when we had the cover off, we dropped it. I don't know what happened. But one of the tabs broke off. That's okay, it'll still work for now. We're also missing the gaskets. So this thing's probably gonna be a little bit loose. But we'll get it all put together. We'll get it all checked out. Let's go get a, actually, let's go get a clip right now and try it. But we're gonna get it all put together and uh, check it out. Right now we're gonna show you how you mounted all the rivets incorrectly on your outer cover. So stick with me on that as well. I'm gonna show you exactly what you did wrong, okay? Yeah, so those fit a little loose, like I said, because we don't have the gasket, uh, we gotta order one. We have the original one, but it's split in two. Yeah, and whatever. So we'll order a new one. We'll be back. I just showed you what you did wrong, installing the pins. I'm just kidding. Everybody just relax. I'm just kidding. But I didn't want to turn them individually with an Allen wrench and all that. That would a pain. And I just happened to think, hey, what if you threw a little short piece of metal through that hole, grabbed onto uh, the whole thing with the socket or one of these specialized tools, one of these tools. Um, this guy right here, whatever it's called, whatever it is. I've never had one of these. Um, I've never had one of these. This is actually Brandy's mom's. She's like, hey, could you guys use this? But it's that guy, right? But again, a socket could have worked. You know, you just cut the whatever piece of metal the right length to fit inside the socket. And it, that would have worked also. So anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to show you what you did wrong on the other part. Installing all of this goodness onto the clutch cover. And here's, here's, here's the deal, right? So we came up with an idea. We, um, we didn't really do any kind of research or anything. We actually just, you know, sat down, thought about it and uh, came up with it completely our own idea because we didn't really find anybody on the internet that, um, that did it this way. I'm totally stealing Kenny's idea. Kenny Reed from Back to the Desert. I like the way he installed the pins. I like the spacing he used. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that right now. Here we go. Okay, so hopefully it's not too noisy. I have the water cooler on that guy over there because it's already hot here. Anyway, so here's what's going on. Like I said, we got broken tabs, right? We've got a couple of them, but we want to do this thing. We want to finish it up. So we're going to go ahead and put uh, clips where we can. So I'm going to put you on, the, uh, on this thing right here, the tripod, and maybe we'll fast forward or, you know, whatever. But we're going to show you how we do it. We're going to show you how, we're going to show you our process because it's not like Kenny's. I mean, it was gonna be. I was totally gonna copy him. I like how he did it. But, but, um, with a broken up old not 2020 RR Kenny, how can we do that? We just got this old 17 Can-Am. Slow as can be. Anyway, we'll be right back. We're gonna put this thing together. Check it out.
Can't turn the air off. It's already summer. Yeah, it's warm, warm, warm. All right, so we're continuing on. We, uh, I think I had the wrong tip in here or whatever. Anyway, we're going to put the next one in. Like I said already, 47 times, we have broken we have broken tabs off two places, so we can't use, you know, it is yeah. what it is. We'll get a new clutch cover soon. It might have a bunch of other new parts right next to it. Who knows? We'll see what happens. All right, so let's try not to break this one, okay? Oh, let's try. Okay. Well, then you should let me do it. <laughs> okay. Let's see what so we're not we're not focusing a lot on spacing at this point. I mean, you know, we're trying to space it reasonable, but we're not getting crazy about the spacing. I actually got that one off center. I didn't mean to. But we don't care a lot about this cover because it's junk and it's going away soon. Well, or not. Or not. riveting gun you got. It's very riveting. It's a riveting experience. <laughs> so then you put these on, you put the clips on, and then you don't lose the little clips. Pretty cool, right? I can't be in charge of any of this then. Well, yes you can because the clips don't come off. <gasps> so believe it or not, you couldn't lose them. Okay. I mean. I could. Potentially, you could. So let's see, the next one would be like this, but it doesn't exist. There's no point in wasting our time. So let's go to the center of this area right here, roughly. Okay. We're gonna call that center right there where my finger is. Amazing space edge plastic. All right, so we got a hole. We need a washer, a rivet. We need a little cable guy, and we're gonna put this washer back here. Oops. We're, we're gonna go grab. Around. Yeah, we'll grab another one. We have more than enough in this case. Okay. Throw that on the ground. We have more than enough in this case. <laughs> We'll pick those up later. So, you know, when we get a new cover, we'll uh, order another one of these and we'll do it again. All right? Right. So there we go. We're going to line this up. Whoops. We're going to line that up where we want it, right there. About like that. And we're going to pinch it on. We've got the washer to back it up back there. All right. So here is where we would have used our own idea really not Kenny Reed's from back to the desert <laughs> I, there's no way I would have just stole this idea and we would have put uh, right in the center right here one rivet two of these one this way or like this right we were totally gonna do that like Kenny but uh, <laughs> we asked uh, we can't fashion a tag that would stay on there's something right here so I mean, there's something not right there. So let's see. We went. Can you use we like went, a. No, we're good. So we went up. We're not doing any. We went up. We went up. We went up for the one we still have, not for the one we don't have. Now we're going to go. I think we're going to go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Okay. So that's what we're doing. So we're going to go up uh, somewhere about right in the center of that guy, I would say. So let's drill. I measured these out ahead of time. You just can't see the marks on camera. Oh yeah. Can I mean, you see them? No. There are none. I said I measured it out. I didn't say I marked it. Right? It got broke. Got broke? I got broke. Did tab, we're missing a tab here and a tab here. We went ahead and followed through with this just because we want to get it done. Right? And we're going to get a new, uh, we're going to get a new cover. And, you know, it's 40 bucks for a set of these pins. And we'll get some more and we'll, we'll do it again. Let's see how easy this is. Okay, we just swapped out a belt. Let's get out of here. I mean, to be fair, it might not be that much easier than it's been for us recently because we only had two screws. Uh. This really started with uh, 
I was like, I'm gonna go find these screws. These stainless steel screws are, they were, I think I found them, they were super expensive. I think they were as much or more than this pin kit. I'm like, well, why would I do that? I'll just get the pin kit, right? Right. All right. Yeah. So we might have to grab the, I forgot, we might have to grab the, um, the washer. Because it's, yeah, see it's how loose it is. But uh, yeah, that's how it's done. Okay, so then when you blow a belt, if you blow a belt, I mean, when yeah. you come up here and you pop all those off and then just. Yep, that's all there is to it. Toss your rope. So anyway, I'm going to call it good. Uh, like Brandy always says, don't forget to subscribe, like, please comment. We like the comments. And don't forget, like Brandy told you in the beginning of the video, check out the contest. Peace.